Hey, my friends, it's Big Stu here. Thanks for hanging out with me once again. We are looking at today a very late, late uh, loot crate uh, box. Uh, this could be as much as three months old, maybe from September or even August. My son had ordered this, and this is the regular um, loot crate, from my understand. And... Uh, and he got a, D, a DX was the last video, and that was a school theme. And I'm not sure what this theme is, but I do know the reason he ordered this, because it had a Jurassic Park vinyl uh, T-Rex little mini statue um, in it. And uh, so let's open this up. He's already seen it. He's liked some of the items, um, but not everything, I don't think, in the box. Okay. And maybe once we see everything, we'll be able to figure out uh, what the themes are and everything from I understand they haven't been putting cards in lately um, As far as to explain the items and what the themes are like they used to Okay, this is what the box kind of looks like Okay, so we got a shirt. I can tell this is masters of universe because that's gray skull Let's see he normally orders medium. Yeah, it's a master of the universe. Oh, it's a long sleeve shirt purple and it's a nice material not super soft or anything but I mean it's soft it's okay but I felt t-shirt softer but it's cool um fold this a little bit so it's long sleeve so he can wear that right now it's winter time oh and it has the I just noticed this on the sleeve it has his sword or I guess that's yeah is it a sword his staff it's half sword and staff. I guess it's his staff uh, that he uses. I don't think he necessarily can't remember if he has a sword or if it tr transforms into a sword when he fights He Man and everything. So, but anyways, I like purple, so I think it's pretty cool. He likes He Man and uh, and everything, so he probably did like that shirt. So, another thing's in here. Ah, oh, this. We've gotten before and this is Lou crate these are ch like metal chopsticks like we've gotten these in past box before I think we've gotten these twice and these no no they're straws metal straws and uh, I guess you could take with you since some places don't serve it gives you straws anymore because the environment and uh, so you can carry these with you and have your own straws but we've had those before. I've seen those these twice. I'm not sure what this is. It's gold. Oh, I bet it's a cup. And it's an equal. Oh, it's Zelda. Okay, so it's a Zelda mug. And oh, and it screws. So that's cool. So it's just a little mug. It's plastic. So you drop it, it'll crack. I guess you can put your straw in it and uh, and everything. So, but it's Legend of Zelda. It's probably very hard to see that. So he probably likes this because he does like Zelda. I don't know if he necessarily needs his own cup. So, but anyway, so, so we have that. And let's see what else he's, he's got a pin in here. And this is Legends from Nickelodeon. Oh, this is the Hidden Temple. Legends of the Hidden Temple. And that's the pin from that. He used to watch that in Nickelodeon all the time. Uh, and it looks like there's one more thing. A broadside or replica from Fallout. It looks like it's a weapon. Broadside or replica weapon. He's played Fallout. I haven't. And he has not opened this up. So... I am not going to open it up because he might want to sell this. But anyway, so that's what it looks like. So if you're a big fan of Fallout, maybe this is something that's exciting to you, kind of cool to have. It looks like it is a Loot Crate exclusive. It's really light, so it's obviously made out of plastic. And I don't even know what this is. Broadside or replica? This is a cannon. It looks like maybe it's a cannon. A uh, bazooka or something like that is what it reminds me of I could be wrong and a bunch of fallout fanatics could be laughing at me right now 
Okay, so this is the Jurassic Park thing box. Kind of heavy, has some weight to it. Again, we got this box or just this card in the box and just says thank you for, for oh, this is Loot Crate DX. So this is a DX, not the regular crate. And uh, so it's a DX. That's why the t-shirt's long sleeve, not just a normal t-shirt. And here's a straw at the bottom floating around. So this goes to the Zelda. So it has its own straw. Okay, so let's see what the T-Rex figure it is. So it says T-Rex figure. From my understanding, this was based off the new movie, or, or the first movie, and the way it ended with a fly kind of falling behind it. If I'm not mistaken. Because I think I saw a picture of it. Okay, so we need to put this together. I'll show it to you. The piece fell off. Okay, let's see. So you have the dinosaur. So it's like a hard plastic. Okay. I don't, don't necessarily want to push it in all the way because it might be hard to take it apart. But anyways, okay, so here's your dinosaur. And here's the base. Let's take the base out. It's a thick base. Actually, he's going to keep this, so I'm going to build this for him. So here's the base. It's kind of a thick base. And let's put this tail tighter. I don't know why it's not going as tight. So it's hard. Okay, there it is. So it's hard plastic. There's a couple little prongs you can see in his feet. So we will put this on. Okay. Okay. So he stands on the base. Here he is. Now we have this, and this is supposed to be like when dinosaurs rolled the earth. And I remember that kind of like was falling behind it. There's a little tab in it. If you can see here, a little tab place. And that must go on the back. Oh, here's a spot on the dinosaur right here. And I bet you this goes right here on, on it. So it's like it's falling. Let's see if I can get this the right way. We can figure this out. Okay. okay. So it's just kind of like falling down in front of him. Come on. Let's see. I get this right. So I don't want to break it. It's kind of an odd area here. And should have planned this out a little sooner, I guess. Wow, I'm really having a hard time getting this in here. Unless it goes this way. I know this makes for horrible video here. I'm trying to get this on. It's almost like its head's in the way from going properly on. And I am not getting it in here right. All right, there it is. Okay, so this is what it ends up looking like. So it's like at the end of the very first movie, I don't remember. I guess the banner fell in front of it. Must have been. I thought it fell behind it. So it's very detailed, very nice. This probably by itself probably would cost maybe twenty dollars, um, if you bought it by the st store was selling it. Maybe up to twenty five. It's really thick and heavy, and uh, but it it is hard plastic, and uh, and everything. So. 
So you got, uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five items, I guess. One, two, three, four, five, six, if you count the metal straws, which is a redo. And I think I remember when they were having issues, this is the time they're having issues, and this is why it was so late. Each of the boxes, they were putting one item that was an old item um, from their vault um, that they're giving everybody. Because I remember the last one I bought, they gave me a redo shirt that was uh, uh, a no shirt. So I ended up getting a double shirt that I had. So that's why at school we do twin days. My wife, it was actually a Jurassic Park, more animated cartoon uh, shirt. And uh, so my wife and I will be, able to be twin day next time at school. Uh, but anyways, so, but yeah, so he got this, um, he was happy with this part and I know he was happy with his shirt and I know he was happy with his cup. So he was satisfied with this box. The other box he wasn't. And, uh, and there's a chance he said he was going to look into. Now I remember the conversation that that other box that we opened up a uh, last video, he might've gotten for free, um, because he had earned some special buy one get one free or something or he had ordered something and he thought he either got it for 50% off or actually for free but nothing in the other box he even liked so so hopefully he didn't pay more than half but fortunately for us anything that we have that we don't like in our boxes or comic related or pops or whatever um, I have an outlet at my comic shop my buddy Aaron and I will trade things with him for store credit so so at least it doesn't collect around the house, have nothing to do with it, or I just give it away for free or sell it super cheap at some garage sale one day. But at least I have a way to get rid of some of this pop culture, pop culture stuff that we don't necessarily want to keep. And that's why I kind of got out of the boxes lately because I just got kind of burnt out and I felt like I was getting stuff that I didn't really need. I wasn't excited about the pops that, that was being offered. And so I took a step back, started buying more Legos and buying individual pops on my own. And I was getting enough t-shirts as it was. And I wasn't really thrilled with some of the t-shirts that were coming out in the boxes. So since I've kind of like stopped the Marvel box and the Star Wars box, there hasn't been anything really come out in those boxes. I felt like, oh, I wish I got in that box that I couldn't live without and uh, and everything. So I will eventually start back up and get something down the road when something catches my eye. But right now, I've just been basically buying Lego sets, um, individual pops, and that's really just about it. Um, spending my money on that instead of on subscription boxes. So, as far as I know, we don't have any more subscription boxes coming in. Unless, you know, Loot Crate has charged us or something and they sent something that was super late that we forgot about comes in. But I think we've kind of gone through all of our boxes. I will, probably next video, I probably will do my... GameStop boxes. I picked up three Batman boxes and Joker Gamer box and uh, and also Marvel box. So I will talk about those and that's probably going to be my next video. And that was my Christmas. And uh, so Christmas was pretty great and I'll probably do a video on some of the things about Christmas too that I ended up getting that's Lego related, pop related, comic book related. I'll do a video on that um, maybe after um, these GameStop mystery box videos and then after that we'll slowly try to get back into just pops and comics and uh, and then Legos every other time so I kind of ran through so we haven't had really a Lego video in the last three or four weren't Legos and so the yeah, next couple is not going to be Legos so we'll get back on track in January uh, at least by the end of January where when we could be comics and pops and then the, another week the following week or following following video will be back to legos and everything there are some exciting um um lego items coming out and uh and i picked up a couple i haven't got a lot of them the dc lego minifigures so i will definitely be able to spotlight those on our next video and the only thing i'm not happy about is they're five dollars uh, now, four dollars seemed like a lot for a minifigure. That was a mystery. Now, they're five. Walmart, if you can get them at Walmart, you can get them for around four fifty. So that's a little bit better than straight five bucks. So, but anyways, but they do have some pretty cool characters in the DC themed box, comic book themed box. Um, it is so it's not based off any DC movies. It's mainly just the comic book characters. 
So they have some really cool ones. The Metamorpho is really cool. Love the hand and stuff. Um, Simon Bob's Green Lantern. I really like that one. Star Stargirl was cool. Um, there were several. Aquaman with the hook was cool. So there's several really cool ones that are in that series. So hopefully maybe they'll do another series like that. Or maybe they'll even do a Marvel one eventually. Um, so I can't wait. Hopefully these will do well and everything. Because they've done about two Disney series. They've done two Harry Potter series. Slashed the second one. Uh, was slashed with Fantastic Beasts. And uh, so it's nice to see. And they've done the Lego movie series and the Batman Lego movie series. But it's nice to see them do, you know, the DC comic book series is pretty cool. And it'd be cool if they can add in uh, maybe Marvel superhero series based off the comic books. would be pretty cool too. But anyway, so I will catch you later. Thanks for hanging out with me. Trying to keep this under 16 minutes, which... I'm going to fail by a few seconds. But thanks for hanging out with Big Stew. And again, our next video will be the GameStop Mystery Boxes. And thanks for watching and subscribing. Bye. Be kind to each other. It's a new year. Let's start off kind and fresh. Bye.